Have you ever wondered why people use kinesiology tape and look like this? And have you ever wondered how they get it off? <laughs> I'm Lori Frederick, I'm the Movement Ninja, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit how I use the tape this week and show you how it comes off. Uh, this week I was wrestling with my eight-year-old as he was running by the couch I was laying on and I grabbed him and something tweaked funny. Um, but I'm not gonna blame it on my eight-year-old because the one thing that I figured out was I've been on my computer a lot and holding my phone and I did a handstand workout that really tightened up all this area anyway. That was kind of just the straw that broke the camel's back, so to speak. So that's why I used it. I had a pain in this general area and so I stuck it on. Usually we say X marks the spot when it comes to your pain, but um, two pieces of tape in this kind of sensitive arm area was a little too much for me. This has been on for four days now. So um, I just wanna show you, I don't know if you can tell that it's kind of fraying a little bit and I've showered with it on, you just pat it dry, but it's time for it to come off. So if anyone's ever wondered if it's like torture to have it come off or anything, it's really not. So you just kind of um, find a spot to start peeling it backwards. Now granted, I don't have a lot of hair in this area, so I'm not getting quite a waxing effect, but if you're slow and easy and maybe in the shower when it's wet, um, then it really comes off quite nicely. Okay, and then you just throw that away. Um, there's a little bit of tape residue that you can um, clean off with some rubbing alcohol or just lotion usually ends up clearing it up for me. But I thought you might like to know why people use the tape and how to take it off. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. See you next round.